Okay, so here I am with my wife, Tracy, and we are together this weekend, and we're going to look at her numbers. So the first thing we're going to do is start at the top. She's raised her threshold to 218 watts. Her five-minute power is currently at 247. We've set an end of April uh, A event date because that's kind of the beginning of her season. And as you can see, she is right at – a perfect position for self-declared uh, training per the exert uh, pacer. Here is her um, XPMC chart for the calendar year. Let's set it to read three months. It's gonna be a little tighter. Let it load and we'll go from there. Now, remember, uh, Tracy's had to go indoors. She also has a job and uh, she's kind of living in a situation that doesn't always allow her to, to get as much volume in as she might like. But all things being equal, she's riding, there's a 48 point training load. And after this week, she's at 48 points once again. And her form took a little bit of a dive, but it's because she's been available to ramp, to ride for the last three days because she's been back down in Dallas. So she got a little bit of intensity in and a little bit of volume and she's um, uh, getting a little bit of fatigue, but that's why we're taking a day off but look at the nice growth in volume. If we look at the threshold, that's the yellow brick road. She had a breakthrough on February the 20th and she had a breakthrough on Monday of this week. Both of them were silver medals. What does that mean? Let's bypass stress and strain, go straight into fitness signature and take a look. So she was at, um, you know, 189 watts. Yeah, on, on the 23rd, 189 watts of lower threshold. Uh, peak power of 506, HIE of 9.6, and then threshold of 213. She goes out and hits a breakthrough, and she ends up with a 218 threshold, 568 peak power. She grew her HIE a little bit. Uh, let's see, a Saturday. So she did not grow her HIE, but she grew her peak power back up a little bit. And she's done some LSD work since then. Um, we will do intervals tomorrow, and we're going to establish a breakthrough uh, tomorrow that'll probably set her up for the entire season. Now let's go to stress. Beautiful chart, really nice chart showing some pretty decent consistency. Remember, um, she is active on these days that are not being recorded. She's doing jujitsu, she's lifting, uh, she's uh, actually doing a little bit of hiking when the weather permits and things like that. So she's worked her way from a high of 364, 370, 372. Uh, right now she's at 325, 335, 340-ish total kilojoules on a rolling three-week average. Again, when the weather breaks from Reno, she's going to get a chance to do some more volume overall. And you can see that, again, the last three days since she flew in, she has been able to get some time on bike. That's nice. We look at strain, it's again a little bit of a different picture. Um, we started off in early February at, at a relour focus. Then she had a good uh, amount of time where she could put some intensity in. So she was able to break it up to a, a breakaway specialist in the four and a half, 4.6 minute range. And if you can see, here are a few of those really good interval days where you've got a green match head, which is the peak power, you're striking anything above your rolling 30-second MMP. You've got a purple match head, which is and HIE fuel. And then uh, you've got an aerobic uh, wooden match. So the more she grows that, the stronger she's going to get in the anaerobic and max aerobic phase. And then she backs that up with some good, good, solid LSD work where there's absolutely no uh, uh, height or peak strain. And that, again, is what's going to lead to... Da, 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 on the planner and on the weekly stats as soon as this populates right here and we're going to hit the back arrow just to look at the thing empirically and why is that happening we'll skip that let's go right there so that leads to a polarity ratio now, if she were riding today, she probably would have done some anaerobic intervals, but today she's taking the day off. I don't begrudge that. Take a look at the polarity. 97.3 five weeks ago, 94.6 four weeks ago, had a good little uh, bout of polarity uh, th three weeks ago, and for the last two weeks, she's sort of hovered in the mid-90s 
on polarity. Um, I would like to see that grow, but there's a better way to measure that. Let's look at total XSS. Five weeks ago, 200 points. Then she gets to 367, then she gets to 396, takes a week and backs off. So here we go, two up, one down. That's her specific progression periodization plan. It's not four up, one down. It's not six up, one down. It's not nine up, one down. For her, what works best is two up, one down. If that works, yeah, that's a great plan that you can stick to. So this week, she hits a 391. Next week, she's going to go for probably a 420. And then the next week, she'll be pretty fatigued and she'll back off. That's a great way to make that work. If we look at the ramp rate, here we go. Ramp rate goes green, green, blue, green. And so this next week is going to be green again. And then the next week will be gently blue. That's a great way to work it. Finally, look at her weekly focus. Climber, mostly aerobic. Puncher, pretty anaerobic. Pursuiter, way into anaerobia. Pursuiter, moderate, you know, it's, it's again between puncher and pursuiter. And then this week was more of a breakaway specialist. So she's still doing plenty of anaerobic or HIE work and she's getting the ratios, but it's, you know, kind of hovering. And what that does is that plays with the rolling focus, which is located on the strain chart. So you can see increasing intensity, back it off. Increasing intensity, back it off. This week, she's going to do increasing intensity. And a week from now, she'll be backing off. Works for her. I personally love it because none of us are professional athletes unless you're paying me a lot of money. And you would go through that level of progression and periodization by using focus only. What else can we look at? Do you have any quick questions? Um, no. Okay. Um, See, I do have one question. Go ahead. Ask can away. Go back to the polarity. I want to go back to the polarity, looking mm -hmm. at planner. And you said improve it or increase it. Yep. Did you mean which way did you? Oh, mean to that's go a good question. It? So Tracy wants to know about <clears throat> how to increase polarity. What we want to do is we want to do more intensity to bring the polarity ratio down. So instead of a 96.4, it'll be a 95.5, 94.6, 93.7. Got it? So the 93 is LIE or low threshold, area, time spent below threshold. Got it? And then the 3, 4, 9% areas up there is time spent at and a nice be, high number. When you say increase, it'll be increasing that second number. That's correct. We're going to increase the HI. We're going to spend time at HIE. Now, here's a quick question. Where do we start acquiring energy or, or you know, points or, or, or bullets or whatever you want to call it for HIE? It's going to be found, in her case, right back over, let me go to Monday. where she had the breakthrough. And we're gonna to go to power duration. And right here is her three minute mean max power. Now, do you think that you could do a single interval? Here, I'll just get you into the camera, come on over. Okay, so do you think that you could get a single interval of three minutes tomorrow? Uh, it'd, be, it'd be close. It'd be close, wouldn't yeah. it? It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be really, really challenging, right? But any interval time you spent at or above 267 would bring your focus up, meaning bringing it towards zero, and it would bring your HIE purple chart area for stress and strain up. It would be a greater percentage of the whole, okay? Now, where do we get to, now by the way, this number shifts as MPA decreases. So as you fatigue out, this number drops as well. Finally, if we look at the 30 second value, it, you set it, you set it on Monday. Yeah, so I, I think I could do that. Right, so, there, so do you think you could blow 439 watts over 30 seconds? Yeah. Got it, so you could probably do that more than once, you think? 
Um, not too many times more than once. Not too many times more than once? Okay. Maybe that's something we could look at because that would mean a bronze medal at least. All right. And that, any time spent above 439 would increase the green match head on your strain and your stress. Okay. Okay. So, so that's the a percentage 30 of the second inter time period corresponds with improving the green and the three minute corresponds with improving the, the purple. Which is the high intensity. That's correct. Purple is high intensity energy okay. and green in this case is going to be the, um, the 30 second red. It, th this corresponds with uh, yellow on your, MP on your watts uh, and this roughly corresponds with on the Garmin, on the Garmin head unit. And this roughly corresponds with red on the Garmin head unit. And of course your peak power right now is only showing 568. I don't believe that. I you think you're capable of much more than all that. Follow this up with what, video on the Garmin tomorrow. tomorrow. We will run video on the Garmin tomorrow. In fact, that's if there was an excuse to go to the, to the studio and get cameras, that would be it. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to stop and we will post this. And if you have any questions, leave them below.